Hey, what's up guys? Sam here at CustomPCReview.com. Here at E3 2013 and we're at the Turtle Beach booth. We're going to check out some of the cool new uh, PC gaming headsets today. So, uh, sir, what is your name and what do you do at Turtle Beach? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeff. I'm Turtle Beach's Community Marketing Manager and I'm also a resident product expert. So I talk tech and nerd very fluently. Awesome. That's exactly what we like to hear. So, what do you guys got going on here? It looks like you guys got a whole bunch of new headsets. We have two new headsets uh, that we're talking about here, and and these are both really cool. Um, a couple of first new features for PC gamers. So I'm a PC gamer myself, and I know you guys at home are probably used to playing online with your friends, and you've got Ventrilo or TeamSpeak or whatever it is you prefer to chat with going on in the background, and you get that one loud friend who comes on mouth breathing into the microphone, and you've got to tab out to turn him down. I've got that friend. Everybody has him, I think. And you turn, you tab out, you turn him down, and when you come back to your game, you're dead 100% of the time. It, it never fails. Never fails. Um, and so what we've done is we've actually built a headset that has two chipsets in it. So instead of having just a single connection to your computer, it's got a green plug for a you know, headphone out, like typically. And it's also got a USB out, which runs for your chat. So if you're using Skype or Ventrilo or whatever, you can actually direct the chat over that path. And so what you'll be able to do then is use the amplifier here which won't reach, but uh, you can just take my word for it, it does have controls on it. Um, you can actually adjust the chat volume directly on the headset here. So you don't have to tab out, you don't have to die, and your one mouth breather friend can be uh, turned down a little bit. You'll also get control over your game volume there, and you get the ability on, on the side over here to connect an MP3 player or smartphone so you can actually mix in music and take phone calls directly through the headset while you're gaming. So when your friends call and they're like, what are you doing? And you're like, uh, I'm working. Definitely not playing games. Uh, and you can pass it off. But it's got a lot of cool features there. So it's also got multiple mic modes. So here, if you're playing, let's say you're playing at night and you want to keep quiet so you don't disturb anyone else in the house, you can set it to high sensitivity mode. And you can speak really quietly and the mic will still pick you up clearly. But if you're playing in a loud place like maybe E3, you could uh, turn it to low sensitivity mode and it won't pick up so much of the ambient noise. It's also got a phone mode and a mute. And then when you're done gaming on your PC and you want to go mobile, you just disconnect the headset from the amplifier and off you go. So that's the Z22, which is an MLG officially licensed headset. We've also got the Z300, which is a wireless headset. And I know you're saying, but Jeff, this headset has a wire on it. That's because this is a demo model. Um, we have found that occasionally unscrupulous persons <laughs> may walk away with a headset. So Disappearing headsets. It's amazing, the grow legs. <laughs> so we have a wire on it here, but this is a wireless product. And it once again offers the same independent chat and game volume control. So you can just map your chat volume onto that chat channel and control it directly on the side of the headset. Where am I looking? Here we go. Um, so you have control right there for your chat volume up and down. And it runs on Bluetooth. So it's got a stereo Bluetooth for chat. This also means you can take phone calls while you game via Bluetooth and stream music while, while gaming through Bluetooth. It's got a wired connection if you wanted to use it as a wired headset. It's rechargeable, which you can charge through USB here. Um, and it uses a single little USB thumbstick type dongle for connection to the computer. Really simple setup, no drivers. Um, really what's, cool the, uh, what's the battery life on the Z300? Depending on how insane you want to get about being really loud, if you turn on all the features, you're going to be looking about 13 to 15 hours. Okay. All right. Any uh, pricing information or availability on any of these headsets? Or uh, pricing still kind of up in the air on these guys, so we'll be uh, we'll be announcing that soon. So definitely stay tuned to our website at turtlebeach.com for those details. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right, guys. So we're still back here at the uh, Turtle Beach booth, and we totally missed something uh, just now, which was. The, I guess the Apple-oriented uh, side of this, but it still does work with PCs and, and your smartphones as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is um, it's a line of headsets that we've developed specifically for Mac and iOS devices. Now, they're going to have some features that if, if you use it on a Windows PC, you're going you're gonna to lose out on these features, but that doesn't really take away from the fact that you're still going to get a whole host of really cool features. And while designed for OS or iOS devices like your iPhone and iPad, they will work on your Android or Windows phone or whatever else as well. Just okay, awesome. Yeah, why don't we take a look at this? Uh, All right, i10. So this is the i10, um, and I'm going to let you guys take a look at this here first. Uh, all these headsets have the same form factor and ID. 
a couple of things that are pretty neat about the look and feel of this is this is metal. It's nice. Once again, same thing here. Um, typically, a headset, when you pull it, it's going to expand up at the headband here. Uh, ours here slide in this channel. And what that does is it, it's a little more comfortable. And it also keeps the look of the headset the same. Um, in, the, in the iOS world and the Mac world, appearance is, is very important, right? Mac makes very sleek, nice looking products. And so it's very important to, to us when we were designing these that we wanted to stay in that ecosystem. So the i10 is a wired headset. It's designed primarily for mobile devices. You could use it on, you could use it on your desktop or whatever you wanted. Um, it features active noise cancellation, and uh, that charges via USB. Uh, you've got volume control and a mic monitor control. Mic monitor is this cool feature when you speak. Um, it lets you hear your voice in the headset, so you don't feel like you need to shout. Um, you can turn the headset's power on and off there. And we've got one of these hooked up to an iTouch over here. The next one up is the i30. And the i30 is a Bluetooth 4.0 wireless headset. Um, as you can see, it looks exactly the same. It's also got the active noise cancellation and a voice morph, so you can uh, sound as creepy as you want on the internet or on the phone. Uh, one of my and, favorite things. And is to do. there a software suite that, that kind of controls that? or There is. There's a really cool program that we have that's called the Advanced Sound Editor. It's very similar to the program we use for the Air Force 7 series and the XP510 PX51. So you'll get full control over the, um, especially on the i60, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, but all the presets on that. Uh, but a lot of the stuff you can do directly from the headset. You can remap what all these buttons do. And one of the things that I want to talk about with this headset, and this is common across all three of these headsets, is this really amazing feature that we have that's called a dual boomless mic. So there's a mic here, and there's a mic up here. And what happens is the top mic is listening for the ambiance around the headset all the time. And the bottom mic is listening for when you speak. So any of the sounds that are common between the two mics, the headset doesn't broadcast. So you could be using it in here, talking to your friend at home, and it would sound like you were talking in your living room. Uh, it just It'll cut out all the sound. We've tested it. I was skeptical. I'm super skeptical about things like this. <laughs> yeah. And it works really, really well. Um, the test that really blew me away was that with you can turn the mic monitor way up so you can hear yourself speak. Yeah. And if I snap my finger back here, I don't hear it in the headset. And if I do it here, it comes through. It's, it's that good at filtering out all the sounds. Um, and of course, because you know you can't use a Bluetooth device on an airplane, we've got a wired mode for you if you want to use it there. Awesome. So these are all media headsets. They work great for gaming, great for listening to music. But if you're a video editor at home and you want something that's really comfortable and sounds awesome for while you're editing video, these are all really great for that. Um, and at the top of the line here, we have the i60, which is hooked up for charging. This is surround sound. It's fully programmable. Features yeah. the presets uh, like you have on the 7 series and the PX51. Change presets, you tap it. It's uh, Once again, it's got the fully map mappable buttons on it, wired and wireless mode. It's got this really cool transmitter down here. So this runs on dual band Wi-Fi, so anywhere between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. You can control the volume of the headset. As you see, it changes color. You've got independent chat and game volume control. You can you can mute your mic. You can turn the turn the uh, surround sound on and off. So it's important to note, as these things say, pre-production samples. So I'm pushing buttons and lights aren't coming on. They're not <laughs> yeah. broken. They're just not all finished yet. So there's a lot of features that are yet to be implemented on these products. Um, but this has Bluetooth 4.0. It works as a wired headset. It works as a wireless headset. You can mix in music while you're while you're gaming or whatever. It's yeah. super, super powerful. And these sound absolutely fantastic and they feel great. So if you're a Mac gamer, you, you know, play in MMOs on a Mac, very common. Lots of great stuff there. And Steam blows up more on the Mac. Lots of options for gamers there. Yeah. Or if you're just a PC gamer who, who's, uh, who's into these features, these headsets will also work for you and you should definitely take a, take a look at this line. Absolutely, okay. And uh, any information on pricing availability on, on these products or? Yeah, so the pricing right now, we're looking at the i10 is probably going to be about 200, the 30 is about 300, and the 60 is about 400 is where we're looking right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, Availability um, probably sometime later in 2013. Um, we don't have an exact date at this point, so stay tuned for more information on that as it becomes available. Okay, great. And uh, are you guys ever going to sell those stands? We sell those stands right now. They're on our really? website. Yeah, they're called an HS1. 
Headset Headset Stand One. It's a <laughs> clever name, I know, but you can find them on our website now. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you again. Thank you. <laughs>